Another can of worms right ahead. Fact checking is what we're talking about. We're talking about fact checking the fact checkers and looking at my fact checker, which is the Bible. And it's a mug, it's our poster of the month, and it's a t-shirt, drinking Headbangers Brew in that mug. And by the way, whenever you order Headbangers Brew, you automatically get the poster of the month with it as well. And uh, we're sending those out now. I think they're sending out actually the poster this month and last month, maybe several others. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's coming. And uh, all of our bling at wearemetalwearefamily.com. It's a coffee morning. Tastes good today. Well, every day. <laughs> Dear Pastor Bob, you stated yesterday in your podcast that we cannot trust the media. That seems like a very broad statement. Can you clarify what you mean? You know, I've been um, I've been talking about fact checking, and we're going to talk about it a lot more. We've been talking about who decides what the facts are, and how do you decide who to listen to. And I, I like the example of boiling a frog. You've heard the story. If you put a frog in boiling water, he'll hop out. But if you put a frog in water and then put it on the stove from cold to hot, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. He just gets used to it and he boils. A bigger lie is the same way. You start with small things and you build on them and pretty soon people are believing things that absolutely aren't true. And that's really true with media. Now, all media, pretty much all of it is scripted and run by the very same people. You say, well, that can't be. There's, you know, all the different stations, all the different news sources that seem to be kind of competing with each other and they have their own people. No, they don't. It's scripted. It's all one big conglomeration. Let me show you. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS 4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble of trying to be responsible, one-sided news stories, plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 So, kind of disturbing, isn't it? And you know, we have people that say, well, that's a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy theory. And I've learned that the difference between a conspiracy theory and the facts is about six months at best at this point. Now, I am not what you would call a conspiracy theorist. I, um, I 
check a lot of things out and I'm careful with what news sources I use. I don't use mainstream media at all. I don't trust them. They've proven to be very biased, very biased. And there's some news they don't even report and some that are seems to be kind of made up. I know. But it's up to us to do that. It's up to us to do some fact-checking on our own with the Word of God. That's where we start. And let me tell you, there are three sources. And I'm just going to throw this out and we'll talk about it as we go. But there are three sources that I don't trust. One is the mainstream media. Absolutely don't trust them. And and my reasoning for it isn't any bias on my part. It's simply my experience with real news and what they've been reporting. Second is politicians. I don't have to explain that. People that promise the world in order to get elected, and we've sure, certainly seen that. The other is big pharma, they call it. Big pharmacy, the big drug companies that seem to kind of rule things these days. And if they can't make money on it, it isn't usually done. Now, there are wonderful doctors and people in the profession, and I'm not saying that that's the case. But the companies themselves are very motivated financially. Of course, they're corporations. But it's tainted as a result. I want you to turn with me to Romans chapter 16, verses 17 and 18. Romans 16, 17 through 18. And he says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to keep your eyes on those who cause dissensions and create obstacles or introduce temptations for others to commit sin. Now, a lot of things in the media these days things we used to call sin are uh, are now if you if you don't believe them you are accused of a lot of things one is being prejudice another is being open minded and another is being a christian one of those conservative christians yeah so look out for those people acting in ways contrary to the doctrine which you have learned Turn away from them. For such people do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites and their own base desires. In other words, the foundation of what they do is not here. They don't believe in God. God is not part of it, not part of the equation. By smooth and flattering speech, they deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting, the innocent, and the naive. We did a mug and we're going to do it again this month a lot called Don't Be a Dumb Sheep. <laughs> and don't be one. Why? Because folks, that's what's going on. People that are unsuspecting, people that are innocent and naive and preying on them, don't be a dumb sheep. Look and see what's going on. You know, there's some people that just accept whatever happens and say, well, that's the way it is. And I trust the media. I trust the politicians. And we always get in trouble for doing it. Why? Because they're not trustworthy. And here in Romans 16, he says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to keep your eyes on these people. These people that are causing the dissension, these people that are giving you lie after lie after lie. And if you repeat something enough times, people assume that it's the truth. We have so much to talk about this month and we're going to have a good time doing it. And I hope that that you won't let any kind of bias in another way, stop you from really looking at truth. And I'm not going to do your homework for you. You need to do it. But at least you need to start. And you need to, to wake up to a lot of things that are happening around us. And folks, the bottom line 
is fact-checking with your fact-checker with the Bible. We're going to use it every day. We're going to look at the Bible as compared to some of the things that are going on around us and uh, begin to see what the truth might be. Folks, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.